there, it's me, Grammy Vulture, and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, and you can follow me on Snapchat. Hi there, welcome back. Papusa time. Pupusa time? Pap, pap, pap. I don't know. Pupusa. I bought some pre made masa. Masa. Masa? Masa. Anyway, the mix for tortillas, and I'm pretty sure I got the wrong kind but I'm going to go ahead and make it anyway because I'm hungry and I want pupusas for dinner. They're going to be a simple pupusa, some mozzarella cheese and some black beans. I'm making some fresh salad to go with my pupusas. I have three radish and one green cabbage. I'm only gonna use about a third of the green cabbage. I'm gonna slice these really thin that's how I'm doing my radish. I'm just gonna try to make cabbage strips. Don't worry, that's just radish. I didn't cut you myself, with myself. Mm. Very sour. That's much too sour. Mr. Grammy Vulture will not like that, so I'm going to put a tablespoon of mayonnaise and a tablespoon of sugar. Maybe even put some onion in there. Maybe just onion powder. That'll work. Okay, it's going to refrigerate for at least a half an hour. Probably longer a bit of an assembly line set up. I have my black beans, my masa, my cheese, which I'm going to have to put in between or somewhere maybe on this edge, my frying pan. I have some olive oil. I have some regular flour in the back in case they're too uh, sticky. Then I have this towel which has aluminum inside and some paper towels. That will help keep them hot while I'm waiting for Mr. Grammy Vulture to get home and eat dinner. All right, this is tamale masa. I'm just going with it. It's already got the, the lard in it. Okay. Keep your hands in the flour. Kick it. Kick it. A masa ball. Mr. Grammy Vulture, how big would you say this masa ball is? Regular softball. Excuse me, regular baseball. Really? A regular baseball? I think it's a little smaller myself, but good to know. Bigger than a golf ball. You make it round, you push almost all the way through it to the other side. Make it hold out. So you can put your beans in. And you put your beans in. Almost a teaspoon. Pinch of cheese in the center and then fold it shut around it. All the way. And then smoosh and turn and smoosh and turn and pat it and turn it. I'm trying to keep the edges flat yet skinny all at the same time. Oh. So this little part needs a little more masa. See beans coming through. And pat and turn and pat and turn and pat and turn and pat and turn. Like that. Looks like a biscuit when you take them out of that uh, popping fresh biscuit dough thing. <laughs> there you go. You can see in the pot. Ta-da. This one's done. See that golden delicious color? I have some that have a little bit of scorch on the edges, which tastes really good. I really like it, believe it or not. So there we go. We have a spot for another one. I just put a drip of oil. I grabbed the pus I just made. Careful. Don't touch the pan. It's hot. I just lay it on top. I'm not supposed to put your fingernails in it. Oh, be my heat at medium. Don't forget, put the 
little hole go almost all the way to the back. It's a small teaspoon of beans per pupusa. I know you want them to be filled with delicious goodness, but if you put more than a teaspoon, it'll all squish out and you won't get to eat it anyway. It's not really important how you pin it closed. Just try to keep it in that flat shape. See here how you can see the beans? You can take masa off of the edge and put it there to close that. Or you can take extra masa from the masa pan. Ooh, it sounds like marzipan. Yum. That's probably about ready to turn. It's been three minutes. Oh, I missed. <laughs> there we go. cooking them probably for about six to ten minutes because we like our food well done. Yes. Well, it busted, but it looks like what I want. Let's go ahead and cut through. Cheesy goodness, the beans. Oh, the cheesy goodness. All right, you can have first bite. Now let me sling the cheese up. <laughs> Ready? How is it any good? Oh, hot. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. That is divine. Oh. Okay, if you're going to make pupusas, I recommend using tamale flour. Oh, goodness. I recommend this. It is not hard to make a pupusa. Don't overthink it. Look at this. How can you not want to eat this? Ow, oh, ow, oh, oh. Ooh, except for the fact that it's actually burning hot. Mm. They usually serve this with a little bit of sweet and sour cabbage. A fresh green salad. I have some radishes in mine and um, a thin sour cream. They call it crema. Very good. I'm in trouble. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. See you later. Thank you, Chickadee Doo, for hanging out and watching. Gotta go. See you later. Love you. Bye. I'm with you. Pupusas. They're simple. They're delicious. And you can freeze them. These are the pupusas that are going to be frozen and put away because we couldn't eat that many.